Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to transfer data from your NAS drive to your PC the fastest way using a USB 3.0 enclosure. All right, let's get into it. All right, so if you've ever tried moving huge files from your NAS drive to your PC, like raw video footage, backups, or game libraries, you know it can be painfully slow. Even with gigabit or 2.5 gigabit ethernet, transferring hundreds of gigabytes or even a few terabytes can take hours. Now, if you're on Wi-Fi, the speeds are even slower. That is because most NAS devices rely entirely on network transfers, which are great for convenience, but not for speed. What many people don't realize is that even old-school USB 3.0 offers faster real-world speeds than gigabit Ethernet. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to dramatically speed up your NAS file transfers by connecting the NAS drive directly to your PC using a simple USB 3.0 enclosure, all right, like this one. All right, let's get into it. All right, so with me here, I have a Synology NAS drive, okay? So this is the DS220 Plus NAS drive here that I've been rocking for about three years right now, all right? So this is a, a two-bay NAS drive. It has two bays, and this is configured on RAID 1, which means that there is data duplication between these two drives, right? Yes, and then before that, I actually had this uh, Seagate NAS drive. It's, it's a one bay NAS drive, very, very uh, small. As you can see, it has an ethernet port here. All right, yes, yeah, so before the upgrade, I used the Seagate personal cloud. This drive is no longer being manufactured. It's out of stock, yes. So, yeah. And then here with me is a USB 3.0 hard drive enclosure with support of SATA 3 hard drive, which supports up to six gigabits per second. It has built-in power. All right, so yeah, so this is the uh, enclosure that we shall be using to uh, connect the NAS drive from your uh, NAS drive and then plug it in directly to the SATA hard drive enclosure here. So this is USB 3.0 to SATA 3 uh, enclosure right here. Yes, so in the box, of course, it comes with a 3.0 cable here, right, which connects to the enclosure on one end and to the other end connects to your PC and then it's, it comes with a power cable. So this is power supported. You have to power it from your socket. Yes. So the hard drive that you see here is from this old NAS drive that I have. Yeah. And this is a SATA 3, as you can see, Seagate NAS hard drive. Yes. But if you have Synology NAS drive, for example, like this one here, you'll have to remove uh, the drive, all right, from its... Um, casing here yes yeah, so the saying push so you push like this and then you actually have the raw hard drive this is a Seagate Iron Wolf NAS drive right here so this is the drive that you're going to get from your NAS all right and then plug it in directly to the enclosure so I'm going to just open this up so you can see it's right here okay so let's put this back. I'm just going to put this away. And uh, you can see these hard drives are actually almost identical. You'll have to remove these uh, side uh, supports here if you're actually going to put this inside here. So you have only the raw uh, hard drive. Yeah, so I'm going to put this away for now. And I'm going to use this one here from this uh, Seagate. So after you've opened the enclosure, just slide in the hard drive so that it snaps in directly there. Okay. And then get its cover. The cover is right here. Just make sure that it slides in securely. I think that's fine. And then now you can screw back the enclosure. It actually comes with four screws. 
So let's do that right now. Yeah, so now my NAS hard drive, internal hard drive is now in this uh, USB enclosure right here. So with this cable here, just going to have to now plug it in, okay, right here. And then this is going to go to my computer. And then the power cable here also gets into this power socket here and then i'm going to power this using my wall power yes and then i'm going to connect it to my pc right so because the file system of these hard drives is usually uh, linux based file systems that is a ext uh, 3 and 4 and sometimes you have btrs like the Synology, and then also you have ZFS. The best option actually to connect this is to a Linux machine because Linux supports those file systems out of the box. If you're going to use Windows, then you're going to have to use uh, third party tools like uh, ext to read right? ext to read I'm going to put the link in the description below if you're going to connect this to a Windows machine. Yes, and then the other caveat that you really have to know is that this uh, the the NAS drive should actually uh, be in RAID one, okay? Uh, but if your hard drive is on RAID uh, zero, five, and six, it will not work. Why? Because the uh, those different RAIDs split data across different hard drives. So. Uh, when you plug it in here to your PC, uh, that data is not cohesive. It's not in one piece. It's scattered across different hard drives. But RAID 1, all right, which actually duplicates data across two uh, hard drives, uh, will actually work. Yes, so that is why this hard drive from this one bay here definitely is just going to work out of the box. So let me plug, let me power up my uh, Linux machine and then we plug it in and then see what happens. All right, so with my uh, USB encasing now powered on, I'm going to just uh, connect it now to my laptop here through USB 3.0. All right, so let me just do that now. And then I'm just going to turn this switch on. Yes. And then I'm going to power on my computer now. All right, so I'm going to power on my Linux machine so that I can access the NAS drive through the USB encasing. So let's just start it up right now. Yes, this is Linux Mint 21 actually. So it's a fairly modern Linux operating system and it should be able to enable me access my um, NAS drive through the USB encasing. Right, so we go. My computer is now booted and I'm just going to open the file explorer here. And from the side panel, you can see all the mounted volumes right here, right? Yes, so this is a 4TB volume and uh, I just have to click on it. So these are all complementary partitions that come with the NAS drive. This is a Seagate a personal cloud NAS drive that I actually uh, mounted. Yes, so it's 4TB and uh, I just have to go to shares here. Actually, this is where the actual data is stored, right? So you can now just explore and uh, see where your data is stored and, you know, just uh, access it, right? You can even play it directly for the case of videos. Right, so now the data is just a matter of copying it. You can see I can easily just copy it. And now I can just easily move it to my personal computer here or to one external hard drive, right? So. All right, so I want us to do a really quick speed test. That is a file transfer test. Uh, between the NAS drive, which is now in the USB enclosure, uh, to the local machine here. And then you see uh, the big difference. So this is uh, a folder which basically has very big images here. This, these are uh, operating system images. 
that total up to 8.6 GB. So that is the folder I want to transfer. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it now to my local machine here, the Linux Mint local machine. So we can see the speeds, right? Yes. So you can see it's already at half. Okay, so let's just wait for the speeds to show up on the file transfer window here. And there you go, you have about, uh, you know, uh, it's closing up to 200 uh, Mbps, right? Yes, I'm going, not going to wait for the whole thing to copy. I just wanted to see the speeds. Yeah, so if we copied the same thing, right, uh, from the Synology NAS drive, which is now copying off the network to the local machine, let's see what uh, speeds we get here. So this is just a test file. This is from Synology to my uh, local machine over the network. So this is the old way. This is the basically the traditional way that you would copy files from a NAS drive to your local machine. And you can tell it is pretty, pretty slow, even though I'm on a, you know, a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network here. Yes, of course it's really slow over the network, over Wi-Fi. And uh, if we did it over Ethernet, still the margins will not be too much, right? It wouldn't be too big. So these are KBPS. If I connected it to a wired network, unfortunately I don't have one right now, would probably go up to maybe 10 Mbps or so. So really this is a very painstaking process copying you know, data of a NAS drive to your local machine and that is why you know, having a USB casing is usually the faster way to do it. Yes, so I hope you found value in this video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Probably it's my setup or something. I know some people have really, really fast giga ethernet uh, networks that probably the speeds are a lot better, but it can't come anywhere close to having an external casing. So I usually have this around with me so that in case I'm really transferring something big urgently, I just have to remove the hard drive from the NAS drive, put it into the USB enclosure, SATA here, and then, you know, just copy files directly. I'm going to leave the links to various USB 3.0 to SATA enclosures that you can buy off Amazon. And uh, yeah, let me know what your experience is. Otherwise, if you found value in this video, go ahead and uh, give us a like, uh, ring the bell icon uh, so that you get notified of future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.